Got the Thorfire TK15S for review today. This is the upgraded version of the TK15. And it all come in the regular Thorfire box. And has the padding on top of it. And then the light itself is in the bubble wrap. You got instructions and a couple of extra o-rings in there and this box was in a padded mailing envelope when it arrived so that's how everything gets here um this light is a tail switch and side switch both the tail switch simply turns the light on or off and then your modes which is in firefly now the modes are controlled from the side button which I held too long it's just bump got moon, low, medium, high and turbo let's see low moon low, medium, high, turbo I think or maybe we got moon medium or moon high <laughs> all right we got four modes here there's two different ones is why i'm getting mixed up here one of them has the moon low medi medium high and then you have your hidden strobe and this one has the moonlight low high and turbo or however it is and then a double click get you into your regular strobe and then once you're out of that if you press and hold it goes into your bicycle strobe and it also goes from turbo it steps down each click to the moonlight and then each click it goes back up so that's a pretty neat feature about it if you hit one level too bright you know if your turbo is a little too bright just bump it one time and go back down there and it's got the clip there on it it's got some fins on either side and this scratch here is from me trying to open this thing the bezel here is glued and the driver ring don't want to budge and I didn't want to tear the light up before I could get the review finished and everything so that's why it scratched it didn't come like that it's got a couple of nice big lanyard holes in it there on either side it will tail stand um, it's a thousand fifty lumens on a high setting and moonlight I believe was listed at one lumen uh, it's four ounces I didn't translate that to ground but it's four ounces 6.8 inches overall length on it and 1.8 inches around it's got a XPL V6 emitter down in there and I'm not sure if this lens is AR coded or not. I'll have to look that up. I can't really tell by looking at it here. If it's AR coded, it's going to be a light coating. But I'll look that up and get it in the review here later on. Uh, this is just a tiny bit bigger than the uh, VG15S which is the one I got beside it here and then for those of you that might be familiar with or have the through night TC12 V2 it's just a little bit smaller than that so you know it's a pretty small light actually as far as the length 
for the side switch light and the lumens rating on this thing uh, like I say I think the moonlight has one lumen the low is a hundred medium 500 and high 1050 the hidden bike blink is listed at 200 and the strobe is 1050 so that's the way that's all listed but there ain't really a whole lot more I can tell you other than I scratched it up myself there uh, when I got out of the package you know all the knurling was good all the anodizing was good everything but there'll be pictures of what I could tear down and at least the lighting sections and the video portion the steel shots in there and then there will be the beam shots outside steel beam shots and I'll be comparing this in the video also uh, with the through night TC12 V2 and then I had the Nightcore EC20 out there I compared those two with this light so that's about it for now again that is the Thorfire TK15S and we will get on to the rest of the video and I'll be back shortly
Okay, I brought a couple of other lights down here to compare. First one's gonna be the through night TC12 V2. The next one is gonna be, if I can find it here, the night core EC20. If we can get the camera to focus on it. And then, of course, we got the TK-15S here. Let me set these other ones down. And get this one turned on. Get my headlight turned off. And we're going to start in moonlight, which that's about 18 to 20 inches in front of the camera there on moonlight mode. And then we'll go up to the low mode. We can get the camera to focus in tonight. Okay, that's the low mode, and that's about 8 to 10 yards in front of me there on low. And there's your medium mode. And that tree right there. That's at 60 yards from us tonight. There's your turbo mode. And we'll go ahead and get this through night. I've already got it set for turbo here. That's the through night at 60 yards. And that is the TK-15S at 60 yards. Kind of get them side by side here. And as you can see, the through night TC-12V2 has got the cool emitter where the Thorfire TK-15S has the neutral emitter in it. I prefer personally. I just like the tent a lot better, but the Thor fire's got a little more coverage area there, a little bit broader beam. It's not quite as throwy as a through night. There's a little bit wider beam on it. And we'll go ahead and get this night core EC20. I think I've got it. I'm curry ball already. Let me make sure here. Okay, that's turbo. There's the EC20. That's the TK15S. Again, the EC20 has the cool emitter and just a little bit more throwy beam than the TK-15S does. That's two of them side by side there. And I'll go ahead and get this camera turned around. See, JJ finally made his way down here. I didn't know if he was coming down tonight. Usually right on my heels, but he didn't come out right away tonight with me. I was just gonna get down here on this barn real quick. If the camera will focus in for us. That barn right now is probably around 130 to 140 yards out. Somewhere in that neighborhood. So, I mean, you can get some distance with the light. It's got a, like I say, a fairly broad coverage area plus. And once the turbo step down, uh, I can find it again now. I've got one hand full and trying to do this one handed, but you can go right back to turbo when it steps down. Just gotta watch your heat level when you do go back in the turbo. That tree there is about 45 or 50 yards from us. 
and the smaller trees there are about 40 to 45 and then that tree there was probably about 35 to 40 and that building up through there that white building that little opening there that's going to be around 170 yards probably just guessing so like i say it does get on out there a little bit Again, that is the Thorfire TK-15S. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up for tonight. And I do appreciate everybody watching.